am a, a single mother. <sighs> Thank you. I'm actually hoping to lose custody of my son. <laughs> if you guys could notify the authorities of that joke, I would really appreciate it. My son is 11 years old now. I can't believe he's already 11. I remember when he was so tiny, he fit on the front steps of a Catholic church. <laughs> Just kept leaving him there. I was on a date recently with a guy and uh, he goes, just so you know, I'm not ready to be a stepdad yet. And I was like, that's okay. I'm actually not looking for a stepdad tonight. Uh, if anything, I'm looking for this month's uncle. That's, that's all the relationship I can handle. And that's what I tell my son too. I never tell my son, oh, this is mom's boyfriend. I always tell my son, oh honey, this is your uncle. And then when I break up with a guy, I tell my son, oh honey, your uncle died. <laughs> I live with my son, obviously, and also uh, a couple months ago, my 81-year-old mother moved in with me. Uh, it's temporary because she's 81. That's not really a joke, that's a prayer to God. Please, do your job. <laughs> My mom wears a, a DNR bracelet, a do not resuscitate bracelet. Uh, I put it on her. <laughs> she can't get it off, I hear her trying at night. <laughs> Gnawing, nah, 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 nah. Good luck mom, dentures don't cut. <laughs> The reason my mom moved in with me is uh, a couple of years ago, my dad, my beloved father, uh, passed away. And uh, I don't know if anyone here has lost a parent yet. I'm sure many of you have. It's, it's really tough to lose a parent. Uh, it's even tougher if you were hoping to lose the other parent first. <laughs> yeah, we all have favorites, okay? And I'm not the only one who felt that way. My dad's last words to me were, ha ha, she's your problem now. <laughs> yeah, he knew, he knew what he did. My son loves YouTube. He has a YouTube channel, he makes videos, and I can tell you right now, they are awful. Uh, he will do a strobe light effect for the entire video. He will film up close, up his nose, so there's boogers. He will do fart noises, and they're 30 to 35 minutes long. They're unwatchable. So he ended one of his videos recently by going like this. Which I know sounds disturbing, but you've gotta believe me, it's the best work he's ever done. I was like, finally, you, the director, have captured what I, the audience, was feeling <laughs> at that exact moment. I, too, wanted to end my life. Thank you for hearing me. Well, it turns out I'm not the only one who watches my kids' videos. So does his school. They panicked. They apparently tried to call me five times that day. Now, they couldn't reach me because I blocked the school's number last year. <laughs> the principal was stalking me. Uh, so they freaked out and they called the police. And that night, three police officers came to my house for a wellness check. And I had no idea why. They said, you need to see a video your son posted today. So I pulled it up. Now, in retrospect, I could have fast forwarded to the very end <laughs> of the video, because that's what they wanted to see. But instead, I made the cops watch all 32 minutes of strobe lights and boogers and fart noises. And by the time we got to the end, all three cops had their actual guns at their temples. <laughs> I talked them down and then I introduced my son to his newest uncles. <laughs> Happy endings for all of us. <laughs> all right, that's it for me. Thank you very much.